Yo, what's going on guys? Stiff back on that Madden 15 tournament gameplay grind and I would have to say thank you to everybody. I posted the game against Patrick Willis like four hours ago actually. I asked if I got 150 likes I'd post the second game for the Duracell tournament and you guys like gave me like 150 likes in like an hour, an hour and a half or some something like that. It was insane. It was awesome. So here is the second game, and now this game is actually against a pro gamer, and he goes by the name of Ron Effect 77 If you guys don't know who he is, he's actually a popular streamer for Mutt and Madden, and um, I'll leave a description to his channel, or his Twitch channel, in description. Make sure you guys go follow him, or he also has a sub button, so if you guys want to subscribe to him, he's also pretty cool about that. And I actually, I think he was considered the MVP of the whole tournament because of his uh, his emotion and everything like that. I mean, he was he was yelling at every he was he was pumped up when he made good plays. I mean, he was almost like a he was almost like me when I get when I play this freaking game. But anyway, make sure you guys go check him out. Tell him Stiff sent you. And on that regard, let's get to the gameplay. So if you guys watched the Patrick Willis game, I was the Seattle Seahawks, and Russell Wilson was not throwing dimes at all, and I couldn't afford to have errant throws against you know good gamers. So I went with the Packers. So did he. He was also Seattle Seahawks earlier on in the tournament, and then he went to the Packers. I don't know why he went to it. I went to it because I needed Aaron Rodgers to throw dimes for me. As he gets a touchdown, he is the dark green Packers. I am the white Packers. So he ended up coming out and scoring real hot, running that Philadelphia ebook per se very well with those uh, split slot and slot off set formation, so kudos to him. And then as you can see, we have the same formation of our own in our playbook, and we just go right up the field on our screenplay really quick. We got a quick second and eight, hit him with the smoke screen with Randall Cobb, and we are in for six, and now it's actually a good game. It's a tie game, 7-7, seven, seven. and now... The good thing about playing this Philadelphia offensive ebook is I, I not the ebook, I'm sorry, the Philadelphia ebook. Oh, I keep saying it, the Philadelphia playbook is because I basically I, I know that playbook in in and out. I used it this whole year since the beginning of Madden when it first came out. So I know the different formations, I know the plays that work, I know the routes that work. So hopefully we can get a couple picks, couple sacks, and force turnovers. So as you guys can see, we have a 4th and 16. We force him to punt, which is very likely for us. We're going to try and return it with uh, Randall Cobb, see if he can get anything. And to this day, I still have not uh, actually returned a touchdown on a punt. Uh, it's actually really hard this year. But right here, we try throwing our swing route. He was actually covering it, so I just decided to take off. <laughs> just decided to take off with Aaron Rodgers, and we get four yards with them and then we go with the 0-1 trap with Eddie Lacy and we get a huge gain and right here we try going with the smoke screen and we barely we barely get it in uh in play we get nine yards on it and then he freaking hits us super hard and now we're just rolling right now first and ten we're gonna hit him with uh, another inside zone we're just gonna start pounding the rock with Eddie Lacy try to get down uh, to the two minute warning and then score try and leave him as little time as possible here we go with another inside zone and it is just too much for him we end up getting in the end zone four six more and we go up 14 seven now I'll be honest him the, the two back formation gives me a hard time I like I, I can know what's coming and I'll still have a hard time especially with split offset because you can do so much with that freaking formation it just it baffles me from time to time too all right Terry should have actually undercut that and actually went for the pick but we get the SWAT down animation, so we get a second and ten. He's rolling out, and he's been hitting me with that play. Like, I should know that that's a passing play. The running back goes further down the backfield when he's doing that. And oh, my God. Terrence Williams. Let's go. He was actually in a deep blue zone, and he came back and played that route, which happens from time to time when I run, um, what is it, Eagles bunch open, and I run that flood play. So uh, he played it really well. I actually thought it would have been a crib shot, but we actually get tackled by an, uh, an offensive lineman, I think, and I was like, what the hell? 
So now we're in business. We are up 14-7. We have the ball. 40 seconds, uh, 26 seconds left. I'm sorry. No, Eddie Lacy, don't do him like that with that spin move, that 98 spin move. So we got 14 seconds left. We're going to try and get it in the end zone, and we get the Superman animation, and we score, and we go for two. I don't know why I went for two. I'll be honest with you. I, I go up 22-7. Not exactly sure why I went for two. But third quarter... And we get the ball at half, so we are in business now. All I'm doing is just trying to chew that clock. So right here we get another deadly spin move uh, from Eddie Lacy. First and ten, we go back to him, try and just do another. I'm just trying to uh, chew clock. I'm just running the ball. Uh, right here we're going to go with the second and eight. We actually were throwing to A. We got hit in the meantime and it undercut the throw, throw and our drag route actually got it. So that was lucky on our part. Third and five, we hit the crossing route. We get a first down and now, ooh, boom. <laughs> Hits us so hard going with the 0-1 trap. Second and 12, we go with flood and we hit our tight end in the flats. Third and seven. And now we go back to our money smoke route and we end up getting in for six it was almost intercepted but that's why we love that play because it doesn't really get intercepted a lot but we get in for six and now we are up 29-7 fourth quarter is approaching he starts rolling out with Aaron Rodgers gets the first down fourth quarter has now started he's now he's doing that PA double post play and I'm starting to recognize it so now I know it's coming. Now I see. This is how I know. I know this playbook so much that I knew that that flood play was coming. So we uh, user the corner route. He had to throw it to the flats. Uh, now it's a fourth and twelve. He ends up going for it with another crossing route. Gets the first down. He put that guy on a on a slant. Really good adjustment by him. So we got. Two-minute warning is approaching. He gets another first down with the slant rat. Now he's going back to the splat offset. I don't know what happened that play. He ends up getting it off, luckily, without the sack. So now it's second and ten. He goes to the inside zone at a slot offset, which is a very good play because I thought he was going to go to the swing route. See, that's why it's so trickery. So I, I just decided to try and play cover two there. My cornerback didn't get to him in time so first and 10 now he goes to the flats oh i went with the hit stick i totally missed him though. and now he goes back to the swing route but we are in cover two so our cornerback dropped off we send dual edge pressure we get him to a fourth down conversion he ends up just kicking his field goal taking three so 29 10 and then he ended up not kicking the onside kick which was odd because i mean He's down by a lot of points right now, so you'd think that he'd try and want to get the ball back. But at this point, the game is over. Uh, three, two, one. Yes, the last play. And we are actually going to advance to the third round of this tournament. We have a two-game winning streak, and that is that. Hopefully, we can win our next game, go to a three-game winning streak. But that will be posted at a later date. If you guys enjoyed this gameplay, make sure you guys smash that like button. Shout out to Ron, Effect77. Uh, for the good game and a uh, great streamer make sure you guys go check him out like him follow him until next time guys adio